Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Chevy, and um, I my YouTube. I'm just gonna give you like a, an overview of what my channel is about, just before you like if you're new here. Like, so my channel is just mum videos, routines, what I do with my son, just daily daily vlogs, just anything. Like, I'm just so. I'm just me, and, you know, I thought, you know what I mean, I just thought, let's do a video, so, and Kyla's not here at the moment, he's sleeping, so I thought this is the best time to film because he's sleeping and I won't get interrupted, you might be you might be able to hear some music in the background, that's Kyla listening to some music, it's coming down, you know what I mean, okay, so, this video this is a bit different i normally do like well, you know vlogs and sit down chats and whatever but i thought this is something that i feel really strongly about like it's really irritating irritating me like i got so emotional by watching the documentary so i thought i'm just gonna do my views on it and i thought well better to do it on youtube <laughs> and um, I did like an Instagram poll thing and I asked what you guys would like to see. I put it on Facebook and stuff. And a couple of you said, well, a lot of you said, well, I think about six, 74% said um, my opinion on the R. Kelly um, documentary. So this is it. This is my opinion on it. So. This is the video, this is my opinion, everything that I say is what I truly believe and what I think. So, yeah, um, this is it. So um, I'm gonna insert a photograph here of R. Kelly for you guys that don't know who he is. From this photo, you will know who he is. Like, I knew him from from when I was young, like, I've, I've listened to him my whole life. Family parties, um, score discos, ignition, um, ignition, going fresh out the kitchen, mama rolling. I think that's how it goes. I'm not, I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but you know that song. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've known a lot of his songs since, you know, my whole life. So I was just like, when I watched that documentary, did it really get to me? I'm thinking, your songs, there's a lot of sexual songs, yeah, but in today's society, every song out there is sexual. Girls are in mini, mini shorts, you know, everything's very sexualised. So there's no surprise that a man is having naked girls and half naked girls on his videos because that's what society is like now. Do you know what I mean? So it's not really surprising, but watching the um, documentary and seeing how he values women and everything. It did make me think like, you know, do you know? So, and the first the first bit of the documentary, part one, I've watched all of them. Actually, no, I haven't. I've watched, I'm nearly finished in part four, so I'm nearly finished. But what, I've, what I have watched, I have seen, um, from when he was a child, he was molested as a child, wasn't he? Um, and a lot of, sources online did say it was from his sister i'm not too sure on that and i'm not sure if it's true but he he said he was so no one would lie about that so obviously do you know what i mean so he he was messed with by his sister and so was his um younger brother his younger brother told him that he's getting molested as well by this same family member. But R. Kelly, Robert, R. Kelly's name's Robert, he didn't believe his brother. He was like, no, you're not, because obviously R. Kelly thought he was special. It was him. He, he, do you know what I mean? And obviously, yeah, I'm not gonna go deep into it, but you can obviously think, yeah. So, <laughs> the, and then he married Aaliyah. Like, I didn't even know he married Aaliyah. I did not even know that. I was like, mm hmm really? He married Aaliyah? I didn't, I didn't think 
he did that. I don't think that was him. But that, uh, she was 15, he was 27. That is such a massive age gap there. That is a massive age gap. From these little things, do you know what I mean? Personally, me, from seeing that, marrying a young girl, I'll be like, hmm, why is marrying a young girl? He's 27, can't find someone his own, his own age. These are signs, and I don't see why people wasn't picking it, picking up on these signs then. Do you know what I mean? Why wasn't people picking up on them signs that time? It's, um, it's scary to think that nobody, if, if people picked up on them signs that he was attracted to young girls early on when he married Aaliyah, then what, what happened for over, over two decades wouldn't have happened. He's abused so many young girls, so many young children, male and female. He has abused them, he's assaulted them. Mentally, physically, it's, it's, I can't even get my head around it. And I saw, um, when I looked at the documentary, he urinated in one of the girls' mouth and recorded it. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. And his inner circle, I know this video's all over the place, but it's just my view, I'll just think, his inner circle, like, they must have some weird mental, I don't know, because why are they allowing that to happen? Do you know, why are they, you know, sitting, sitting down and letting that happen? Like, if I knew, say if I was in our close circle, I'd be like, police. I'm not gonna sit there and let, and let you do that to young children and, and watch and know, knowingly what's going on but don't do anything about it that is sickening that is sickening that is disturbing these people need i don't know i don't know what they need they need jesus they need something and it gets me so angry because it's just like i'm a mom and if something like that was happening to my child do you, do you know what i mean it's like what the hell i don't like it I, and I know this document just all come out and everybody's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But I was watched, I was uh, on his, um, because when I watch documentaries, I want to know the, I want to know the ins and outs. I want to go deep into it. So I research and look at everything. And a lot of people was like praising him, like, yeah, good on you. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that's not good on you. That is disgusting. Honestly, that is absolutely disgusting. Who gives you the right to do that to a child? And I, I want to flip it over to what? I read a lot of people did say at 13 and 14 you know what's right and what's wrong and he didn't forcefully have sex with these um, 13 and 14 year olds and 17 he had sex from 13 to 17 year olds but he preferred the younger because he quoted um, their vaginas were tight nicer and I was like oh my god just the thought of that but like how how can you sit and watch that happen? As, do you know how can your friends sit and think that it's okay for you to do that to a young child? It's not, it's horrible. It's horrible. And I've, I saw a lot of, a lot of um, moms did say, not moms, a lot of people did say, as parents, they willingly let that happen because he would give them money in exchange. That's basically pimping out your own child, isn't it? Personally, I think this documentary has come out now. It's giving more publicity. He's going to drop a new, I think he's going to drop a new album. Or this documentary has come out to disguise something that's happening. In, it's a cover up, like... I believe, I believe the victim, I believe, I honestly believe them because who would lie about that? Nobody would, I believe them, I, like, I believe them, but there's something deeper, I think this is, this, this is a distraction from the seri a serious incident that is going to happen, I think it's the media, the, I don't know, are distracting us from a bigger issue, a bigger problem. And I think it's working because 
a lot of people now and are all about um, the document surviving R. Kelly and do you know what I mean? That that is the big talk thing now. So whatever the the hiding, they can hide it well because no one's focused on that. They focus on this. I just don't. I don't think we should praise or give people like this publicity because it's in that, it's like it's normal in the society now. Like paedophiles are like praised. They they give. They're given the limelight. He's a ped he's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. He is a predator. He is he's he scum. And we we've given him a higher we've we've given him more he's famous, he's famous already, but he wasn't that kids now wouldn't know know who he is. People wouldn't know who he is now. It's just because this documentary, people are like, oh, is that okay? He's on that sings Ignition. Is that him? Is that him though? People are gonna know who he is now. Look, <coughs> <coughs> the younger generation, they know who he is now, but the older generation already knew, but the younger generation are gonna know who he is, and then obviously they look up to famous people, don't they? So I don't want people to look up to him and think this is normal because it's not normal. A lot of <coughs> oh gosh, one sec. I need to get some water. For two seconds. Um, I should get some water. Sorry. Oh yeah, as I was saying, I don't, I don't want to give him the publicity even more. I think in a society that we are in now, we need to, we need to do something in order to put an end to this because a lot of people think it's normal because he's doing it and he's got about it for so long. I don't want people to think that is a normal thing to do. And a lot of people are starting to think oh, I can't remember the way. A lot of people are starting to think that is normal now and it really isn't. Well it, it really upsets me. Being a mom, the thought of someone doing that to your child and you're just gonna let that happen. You're just gonna sit back and let it happen. It's disgusting. Like, I get, it's a foil. Like, on the documentary, his wife, she was sort of, she um, clearly said that she didn't know what was happening. She didn't have any clue. Personally, I don't believe that. I don't believe she didn't know what was going on. I believe she knew and she sat and let it happen. She said she didn't have a clue. So over two over two decades you didn't have a clue that your man was sleep your husband was sleeping with thirteen to seventeen year old girls in your house, downstairs, while you was upstairs. No I know if someone comes into my house, I know they come into my house. Fair his house probably was very big so they she probably couldn't hear the doors i don't know but you would know if someone's coming into your house so for her to say she didn't know who was coming and who was going she didn't know the ages i know a 13 year old when i see them i know an 18 year old person when i see them i think the inner circle and anyone that surrounds r kelly who'd be in close proximity with him um knows the real story and knows that he potentially will get away with this. He has attorneys, he has lawyers, he has people that will lie for him. And if they don't lie, you could potentially get rid of them. Maybe kill them, don't know. But he, a lot of his exes said that he was going to kill them. Do you know what I mean? I'm not too sure on the situation, but I believe that he is a very manipulative person and he has the power to make you do what he wants you to do. And because he's got that power, he will get away with this. And he shouldn't, he shouldn't get away, he shouldn't, that shouldn't even be on my mind, but I know because he, Famous has money, you will.
and that's the core reality that we have in life and you know it's disgusting and I want to put a stop to it but what can I do just Chevy from Wolverhampton I can't really do much but with this video I want with this video I want to be able to um, let you all for those who don't know who he is the picture will be there and you remember that face and you see it and you you share that he you tell everyone that what he is and you make sure that he gets sent down and try like he doesn't deserve to be living a day his daily life you shouldn't be able to do that there's people who you know I don't know what's a little thing okay smart weed on the corner and I get sent out to prison he's abusing young girls and he's not getting sent down there's a few times that it's been sent to court and the court the court um always drop drop it like not enough evidence or the change it back to the vic the change but they flip it over and make the victims look like they're the ones that are guilty. So I'm going to end this video here because it's, I don't want to get too dragged down from it because I'm in such a good head headset, like in a nice frame of mind. So I'm going to end this here. But I just want you all to um, understand that if any of you have been exposed Exposed or experience something this traumatic, there's help out there. There's people that will help you. The Samaritans, there's so many, do you know, so many charities that are there. I will link some below if I can find any. I will link some in the description below. Just so you can, you know, if there's anything there. I'm really sorry this is going to end like this, but I just think, you know, it's better to end it this way so I don't want to get too dragged down into it but thank you guys for watching my videos please don't forget to like comment and subscribe I love you all we we can we can tear him down we can you need justice needs to be served for them young girls for all the thousands of girls that he's abused and it will be served don't you worry I'll make I'll make that happen I can't I can't but I can try I'll try and make that happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I can because it sickens me. And being a mom now, it, it really sickens me more. Oh, it just irritates me so much. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you all. Bye.